Using the Maestro Conference Conductor's View Interface, you can lead more dynamic and interactive conference calls. When you first launch the interface, you'll see this screen here, which is the entry screen, where you can set the default microphone states for the people on the call. And you enter the call simply by hitting the Enter Call button here in the upper right. And as we enter the call, we can see that in the upper left, that the music is on because of this green button. And so all of the people on the call are currently hearing music and not the presenter. By clicking the music button at once, it turns the music off and now I can begin the conference. The conference interface is organized by the more global information on the left hand side going to more detailed information on the right hand side. So at the top we can see how many people's hands are raised. We can also create breakouts for the group. We can see audio cues, which is just a list of audio cues, tones, and so forth. You can play on the call by clicking the play button. We also have a timer we can use if we want to time breakouts. And if we're using the interface with more than one person, we can chat with the other people on the interface by typing your name into the chat window above and then saying hi to them here. Now if we look in the middle window where the, uh, the callers are all listed, we can see everybody who's actually on the call. Blue indicates this is the presenter. In this case, that's my name, Bob, and I'm the presenter. We can see my assistant, Lonnie. And then all the people on the call indicated either by their name, if we have it, or by their call-in number, their telephone number, if we don't. Uh, on this particular case, we can see that I can speak and he be heard by everyone because I have a dark microphone. I have my mic status set to microphone. Everybody else is set to local, which means they could only be heard if they were in a breakout and then only by the people in that breakout. We can also mute people entirely, meaning they could be heard by no one, simply by clicking over here and clicking the mute button. So now John is muted, so even if he's in a breakout, he cannot be heard. Now Susan may have touched her telephone keypad to a one saying that she has a question. So if I want to interact with her, I simply hand her the microphone by clicking her microphone here, and now it's dark. I could have also done it over in the right-hand window by selecting her and clicking over here on the right. And now I can interact with Susan as if I were on stage at a workshop. And then once uh, I'm done interacting with her, I can take the microphone away, effectively muting her, and I can go over here and I can put her hand down. Now, breakout sessions are really uh, one of the core features of Maestro Conference. Let me show you how we create breakouts. First of all, we click the Create Breakout button. We say, let's use all participants. In this case, I'm going to do four. We find that pairs are actually problematic because sometimes um, someone has fallen off the call or is sleeping or not paying attention, and then people find themselves alone. So we often do groups of three or four. So I do four. I hit Commit. And now everyone is in breakouts. Naomi, John, Kevin, and Stacy can, are talking to each other. Robert, Susan, Richard, and Lisa, and so forth. So you can see the numbers here. The fours are talking to each other. The fives are talking to each other, and so forth. Now, if I, as a presenter, wanted to find out what was going on and walk around the room, I could select myself, go over to this panel over here, which, which is all about me. It's all about Bob here. And I click uh, one. And so now I'm in group one, and I can hear the people there. If I want to see who's in that group, I can either resort the main screen or I can go over to the breakouts tab here and say, oh, it's Ellie, Dan, and then these two people with the numbers, and that's who I'm listening to. I could also make the Greg out private, meaning that if Lonnie, my assistant, were making some announcements out there in the main room or talking to people, we would not hear her microphone. So if I clicked private, the dashes would appear, and then uh, she wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to hear uh, her. But I can go back to public here. And then if I want to, I can simply dissolve the breakouts, and there we are, back to normal. Now say I've asked people to raise their hands if they uh, like dogs. I said raise a hand to a one if you like dogs, and cats if you raise two. I'm kind of faking it here by uh, doing this. What I can do is I can select everyone, and I can say everyone with a hand up to one, go to the info palette, and say, ah, these are dog people. Right? And then here I can say everyone with their hand up to a level of two, these are all cat people. And then when I create breakouts, I can go predefine. I can say custom one and custom two. And when I commit, dogs are talking to each other and cats are talking to each other. Isn't that nice? And then I can click dissolve. And there we are, back to normal. And those are just a few of the key features uh, that we have here in the Maestro Conference uh, Conductor's View interface. We do hope you'll use it. And again, I can put hands down here and uh, to make your conference calls more dynamic and more orderly. Thanks for watching.